Five Tennessee lawmakers, including Speaker of the House Cameron Sexton, have been subpoenaed to testify in front of a federal grand jury. This comes as an investigation continues surrounding the former speaker and a top aide. Our state capitol reporter Gerald Harris now looks at the case and Sexton's response. The latest on the investigation happening two weeks after Republican Representative Robin Smith pled guilty to federal wire fraud in connection to what prosecutors say was a shadowy scheme from a political consulting firm known as Phoenix Solutions. The firm was led by a top eight to former GOP House Speaker Glenn Cassida, Kay Cawthorn, who undertook the name Matthew Phoenix. Both are linked to funneling money from legislative mailers, according to federal court filings. And investigators are heating up their case. They don't believe they're ever going to be held accountable. And we need to make sure that they are held accountable. House Speaker Cameron Sexton confirmed he was cooperating with federal authorities. Sexton saying in part, it is not unexpected that I or any other member would be called to appear before a grand jury to provide factual statements as part of this ongoing investigation. We've already had some indictments and it's, it's looking like we're going to see more and that needs to happen because people, no one is above the law. Jim Todd, a former prosecutor and criminal defense attorney, explains why people appear before a grand jury. Generally speaking, you're brought before a grand jury because one of two things. One, you may have information that's relevant about this investigation. In this particular instance, you may know the ins and outs of constituent mailing from the state legislature. Or number two, you may be a target in the investigation. Governor Bill Lee is also attempting to skirt questions surrounding a Republican lawmaker linking the governor to an alleged military promotion bribe in exchange for the vote of Representative John Mark Wendell, a rural Democrat for private school vouchers, according to the Tennessee Lookout. I don't know anything about this offer that you're talking about. I don't know anything about it. The governor is the only person who can get promotions in the Tennessee National Guard. The FBI is also investigating. In Asheville, I'm Gerald Harris. Now, Governor Bill Lee's office responded, noting that no one from that office has received a subpoena. We'll keep following the investigation.